Hey guys, you are tuned in to Kim E, the Diabetes MP. Welcome back to the Patient Corner. Now, I created this segment because I wanted to have a place for those who are diagnosed with diabetes to gain insight and knowledge over their diagnosis. If by chance you want to catch the other videos in this segment, I'll go ahead and link it down in the description box and you can view that after you view this video. Now, I have been going over self-care behaviors and self-care behaviors are just things that you can do to help you better manage your diabetes. They're very practical, very down to earth, and anyone can do these behaviors. And today, we're going to talk about monitoring. Now, monitoring is very crucial for tracking your progress. Now, we may put you on a myriad of treatments as providers. We could start you on lifestyle modifications, which means that we're gonna put you on a well-balanced diet. We may have you exercise more, those are examples of lifestyle modifications. Or we may opt to start you on medication if it is indicated for you at that point. Now, all of this is determined on us monitoring you. Over a certain amount of time, we can decide what treatment is best for you. Now, monitoring has a dual function. Now, one of the ways that we can monitor you and your progress and how your blood sugar is, is having you check your blood sugar at home. Now, we call that self-monitoring blood glucose. Now, this is when you have a home glucometer at home and you check your blood sugar by pricking your finger and it tells you in a matter of seconds what your blood sugar reading is, okay? Now, this is a great way for you to see how your blood sugar fluctuates from the things that you eat or lack thereof, but it tells you in real time how you're doing. Another way that we can monitor you is have you come into the lab, come into the office if the office has a lab, and we'll get some blood from you. We'll have a lab person to draw labs on you. In a matter of a couple of days, sometimes even the day of, depending on when you come in, we'll get those results back. Your blood tells us a lot about you, and it tells us how you are doing on your treatments. It can tell us a myriad of things. And so that's why it's important that you get that done regularly. Now, one more thing before I close out this video. You want to work with your primary care provider and really any provider that is dealing with your care and helping to manage your care. You want to work with them over how often you should be monitoring yourself at home and how often you should be coming into the office to get your labs done. This is a great conversation to have with your doctor to see the frequency of how often. Now, the labs in the office, do they want you to come in every three months, every four months, six months, and even in some cases, maybe once a year, okay? With your blood sugar at home, monitoring yourself at home, how often do they want you to check your blood sugar at home? And then this is a great time that you would be able to let them know how often you feel it's appropriate. Any good provider wants to hear how you feel about this as well. And just have that healthy, open communication in dialogue. And this, guys, is the best possible way that you can get the results that you want and your provider wants. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Hopefully, you have been enjoying these videos in the patient corner. If you have, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe to this channel, and ding that notification bell so you don't ever miss an upload. You've been sitting here with Kim E, the Diabetes MP, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.